Hunter's area, fighting a few skeletons. Uh, we've transformed into... I've been calling him PO3, but I guess it might be Pog. But I kind of prefer PO3. So this is just a way of changing our stock image, right? I prefer being the evil bald guy. I'm never going to get that back, am I? So it was randomly generated. No, evil, bald guy. I'll take the ginger one as recompense. There we go, there's me. <laughs> uh, we've got to figure out these headstones. Life didn't give me lemons. Maybe need to look back at the old videos. Brr. Did someone leave the AC on? Oh, come on, dude. It's freezing in here. Maybe a heated battle will help? Maybe. Well, what have we got? Banshee and a Draugr. Can't be sacrificed when Draugr perishes. The creature inside is released in its place. Okay, so probably just best to leave him alone. Might as well play um, Elite Bot, right? Oh no, I can... Yeah. Basic skelly. A two bones to increase the power and health. Um, don't really need to bother with that. So we're just going to have to pass. That perishes, right? Uh, this is going to trigger this thing though, right? So, let's just maybe see how this works. You just played a card with an activated ability. Calm down, <laughs> it's fine. I I'm fine, Pog. Activate it by pressing the sigil like it's a button. It will only work if you can pay the cost. Right. Right, so now it'll be able to take the hit from this skelly. I'm kind of interested to see what's on the other side of this, so... I think we're going to win on the next hand anyway. Draugr releases the creature inside. Oh, just a normal skeleton. You won, but now I'm a bit less cold. Take a pack on the house. You received the death of the card pack. Uh, yep. It's just a way of getting more bones, right? Okay, I think we've seen most of these before. You did beat me, so I guess I've got to fess up. The name's Casey. Casey Hobbs. 
I'm from the tombstone on the left. Found a card in the well, the ink's running from the moisture. Drowned soul. Waterborne. When drowned soul damages another creature. So, okay. That is a really good card. Get that in the deck immediately. Um. Got quite a few bones cards now. Quite like that, quite like that. That kind of weird because it costs four bones and gives four bones. Sure, how useful that is. I'm gonna get rid of that. Put you in instead. So she died in the winter, so. Fallen piece of ice. I guess she wouldn't hold a grudge over that. That in the autumn. Well, the Minguez. My guess is because this is a, 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 an earlier period in history, uh, it would have been scurvy. That's not right, is it? The defibrillator failed. A defibrillator? That doesn't sound right, does it? I'm just going to take all of these out, because... Yeah, maybe that makes more sense. Yeah. Let's go and talk to whatever his name was. Is it the pros Prospector that's in here? Can any of these be opened? You wish to trade? Oh, okay. Um, oh yeah, these are the things we've been picking up. So we've got a uh, foil, right? So we can get a Deathly card pack or buy specific cards. So a zombie we've not seen yet, kind of useless. Gravedigger is a way of getting bones, but it's pretty weak. I do quite like them. Okay. Uh, I don't want to waste this stuff just yet. Marvellous. I believe you have proven your wits adequately. Are you prepared? You will not defeat me. Right, now, uh, I meant to say this at the beginning. I have a theory as to the beginning part of the game, because obviously that was mid-game. So my guess is, because we're playing as Pog, right? So my guess is, we if we fight the three other leaders... We'll then have defeated them for Pog, and then we'll have to fight Pog himself in a similar scenario to how we fought Leshy. So my guess is, the point of the game that we started at was 
someone who'd been at this part, defeat, pick, uh, chosen to play as Leshy, defeated the three other main guys, gone to fight Leshy, and that's when it kicked into the other graphical style. Uh, I could be wrong, but um, I'm not sure how strong my deck is to take on Grimora, but um, ready as I'll ever be. Uh, maybe I should buy that card pack. I just kind of want some better tech cards, unless it's randomized every time. No, it's all the same. I mean, five foils. Yeah, let, let's get it. Maybe it's predetermined to have good stuff in. Ooh, a Bolt Hound. Okay, similar to Bloodhound, quite expensive to use. Tomb Robber, pay one bone to create a skeleton in your hand. Tomb Raider, copyright claim maybe. A ghost ship, waterborne. Also, at the end of the owner's turn, ghost ship will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil and drop a skeleton in its old place. That's pretty good. Like, it can't get hit, so it's like constantly generating cards for you. I quite like that. Maybe we should uh, include that in our deck. Right, let's just... So do, do I really need two Mantis Gods? The Elite Bots seem to get drawn quite frequently. It's, it is important to have low-cost cards, right? So we've got three Elite Bots and three 49ers and one Null Conduit. So four cards that cost one energy, three cards that cost two energy, Two that cost five and one that costs six. So let's just do some quick maths. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got seven sacrifice cards. Three, six, seven. Nine, ten energy cards. And three bones cards. So we should probably get rid of one energy card. Maybe one of these 49ers, or maybe one of these Leap Bots, or maybe just get rid of the Null Conduit. Uh, another Bones card. Yeah. I quite like this Ghost Ship card. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of the Null Conduit. And then... Now, we don't have to have these skeletons in our deck, I don't think, so let's try that. Right, I don't know what we're going to be in for here. Now, it could be that this is we're going to enter a similar game to the start, or it's just going to be a one-on, like, the new interface. Marvellous, just marvellous. I was beginning to worry I'd be sealed away behind those tombstones forever. Locked down at the mercy of a challenger's wits until one day discovered. But no, you prevailed. Now it's time to battle. Oh, it's still the same. My minions never truly die, you know. Let's see how you fare. Right, that's a problem. I'm just going to block here. Banshee, sarcophagus, that's going to transform into a mummy, I imagine. This uh, ghost ship could prove vital here. It's 
pretty much the only thing I can do here. Move, yep. Right, Mole Man's got to come out here to suck up some damage. Yeah. To a mummy. Mole Man, yeah. He's dead, but we would have lost otherwise. And I don't think I can play a card, I think we're screwed. Ouch. Well, oh, that was nails. What a rush. You may try again, Challenger, but don't expect any less of a fight. Okay, good to know. Uh, the deck is, is tuned a bit wrong, I think. I think that these, these high energy cost cards are just rubbish. Unless we have a, a way of, of generating like more energy, like those rock owls. Like, am I being really stupid? Is there a way to draw a squirrel that I'm just not seeing? Am I... Is there a squirrel draw here that I'm just... I bet there is, and I've just never not, not noticed it. Well, again, I can't do anything. No, it just draws automatically, so you can't draw squirrels. I still don't know what this hammer does. I've just lost again. I'm just gonna have to sacrifice him here, I think. Does it get the attack straight away? Jesus. Perhaps you'll need to open more packs. Yeah, probably. Right. Yeah, so there's no way of drawing a squirrel. That is a fundamental change to the game, right? Maybe I need to build my deck more specifically towards the electronic stuff. Well, this is all the electronic cards we've got, right? Maybe we'll have a better chance of defeating Lashy. Can't go into the graveyard. Now let's try and uh, defeat this lad who's uh, back here. Yeah, yeah.
So this... Does this just turn a card to bones? You can't do it on cards in your hand. Yeah, that just gives you bones. Okay. I had to find out, right? anyone. Um, we need to do something else with this deck. I think the bones cards are causing us more problems than they're worth uh, because I'm just not generating enough bones. So yeah. I think the bone heap is useful but I think the rest of them are just too expensive right now. So if there are some like cheap like maybe having the grave digger is actually pretty good. They're all too expensive right now. I just I I not I don't I'm not really sure with the synergies that we've got what's useful here. I think with this deck I think having the energy cards, I think that the key thing is to have cards we can play more of. So I'm just gonna start from scratch here. We need blockers. We need more more and more blockers. I think that that's the benefit, this might be the benefit of this deck, that it is actually quite passive, but you, you guarantee, you, you know, you can always generally play it, you, you've got a good chance of playing a hand. So maybe let's just go full energy here. Um, the only one I want is I want this uh, rock all, because it generates energy, it's, it synergizes. And we want as many, we want all these, we want defensive cards, cheap cards. Yeah, let's just take them all. Yeah, let's just see how this goes with a deck like this. We're not going to generate any bones. We've got what this helps generate energy. Maybe getting more of them would be useful. Yeah, just like really defensive, block, capable of blocking lanes, gathers pace. Let's just see how that works. It might be useless, but I've got to experiment a bit here. Don't you sniff me! Sniff this! <laughs> Right, so I can just block really usefully. And just keep out of the way.
Damn it. Oh, that what? Oh, that was working quite well, but we couldn't do enough damage. Let's try again. Yeah, so maybe this would... Does this generate bones? I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I've lost anyway. Oh, no. Yeah, I've lost. Yeah, this doesn't work either. I am generating bones though, so this actually might synergize with the undead quite well. Right, okay, so we need to make some alterations here. The problem is, is if we get too many bones cards at the beginning, but... Yeah, we'll take that. Um, sorry if this is a bit frustrating to watch. No, I want the one that creates skeletons. Yeah, the ghost ship. Yeah, I quite like this broken oddball as well. I'm having a slightly cheaper one. Is good as well. Right, let's try that. I know this seems a bit random. Oh. Helps. All right, so we now need to use this to block his cards effectively. I think it should be the strategy here. Bollocks. How come I've drawn really high ones, man? I've lost already. Hmm. It's just having to have twenty cards, it just kind of sucks. <laughs> Right? It just really sucks because you draw those high you draw those high uh, high cards at the beginning and it just it's curtains.
Like, I just think that the, the thick droids, they're just kind of rubbish. Oh, I've got two rock holes. Oh, God. Yeah, I need to mix, have a bit of a mix, but I'm still not sure if it's going to work. Let's take Mantis and more, man. I'm just going to have to keep experimenting here. Apologies if this is a little boring. Alright, so the strategy is to block, get there to block his cards. some bones. Right. The key is to kill this thing with a card that doesn't matter, like this. I think if we if we play this Oh that was a mistake. Oh maybe not. Yeah, this ghost ship is really good. Def defensively, at least. Really helps generate bones. That was going all right. I, f I didn't realize the raven was going to attack over the top. Dang it.
Does that destroy that card? No way. Not bad. The trap is shut, yet the prey escapes. And the trapper waits for the next victim. You've defeated the three of us now. Fleshy awaits. Okay, we picked up... Ooh, an explode bot. When an explode bot dies, the creature opposing it, as well as adjacent friendly creatures, are dealt 10 damage. Wow. Buy stuff from him. An Ouroboros. Ouroboro. When it perishes, a copy of it is created. Now we don't have enough money for that. Oh. A squirrel! No way. And a stoat! Oh! For the nostalgia. One rare, two common, beastly cards, and two randoms of any type. Um, should I save up or should I open this pack? Still not sure how to use the mage cards. I should probably save up for that card. This, I don't know, it's a bit awkward to use though, right? Let's get a pack. We need we need some options. Second mole man. Raven, good for damage. Another automaton. Bloodhound. Right, that raven is probably a good idea, right? Instead of this banshee, perhaps. I think that one's kind of useless. It's just very strong, right? It does good damage. Uh, I'm not sure this deck is particularly strong, but. You had bested the unhinged prospector, the gormless angler, and the enigmatic trapper. You find yourself standing before your ultimate match, a leshy, leshy scribe of beasts. Your ambition is to replace Pog. Good. Though if you do not defeat me, you will not get that chance. Steal yourself, for my beasts will show you no mercy, only fangs. <laughs> do not spare your creatures, my camera is waiting to capture them at the moment of their demise. My beasts are famished. The stoat! How could you do this to me? Right, we're best getting rid of the coyote, so...
I'll need a photo of that one's cost. Oh, he's going to make up a death card or something. Yeah, we should we should win on this turn, I think. Oh damn, I was one short. One moment before that one dies, I need to capture its stats. Right, that's a pretty weak card. Right, this is how you Right, so he's gonna create a death card. I think. You won't be needing those. I have something better. Hmm. We never did finish your death card. There wasn't enough death. I hope you don't mind me filling in the blanks. So I've got a bunch of amalgams. We could just play the Bloodhound straight up here. Takes. Yeah. So are these death cards, these amalgams? Uh, we'll be able to kill him, the bear, on the next turn anyway. I've won. The great scribe was incredibly bested. Far away, a light enveloped a long forgotten monument. You had triumphed, narrowly avoiding tooth and claw. The scribe of beasts was defeated. You were able to defeat me, beggar's belief, but now I must yield to you. My only regret is that our battle was so brief. Surely the summit of victory is made sweeter by more arduous by a more arduous ascent. Yep, kinda true, right? It's not the destination, it's the journey. Is that all I get? Sarcophagus. Great. That's, that turns into a 3 and 3 though, right? A rare Mantis God? That's the same as the others, are they just all rare? Okay, another pack. Okay, Elks, Squirrel Balls. The Scribe of Beasts was defeated. Battery Law, what the hell is that about? Stop. What is that? I had to see your face after you lost. Oh, it's Pog. You're just so... Bad. It's no wonder we're back here again. And you would have been even... And we would have been even sooner if the disc wasn't lost. Take a long look at this face. Because you'll never see it again. Right, so, yeah, that was what I was thinking. So the stoat, the stink bug, and... The stunted wolf are maybe the other three card creators? Maybe? I'm done being your pet, you stinking beast. Oh, was that just the, the stoat? Yeah. I pushed it too far that last time. Why don't they see? To live as a beast would be the noblest thing. Even so lowly a creature as a stoat. Right, 
can't buy anything. I thought I just thought he might have something to say after we bested Leshy. So my guess is we can go across the bridge here. Yeah. Rather than fight Grimora again. Let's just have a look up here. So, like, this is our place, right? Challenge me. Let's see your deck. Weak cards. Total lack of synergy. <laughs> this pile really doesn't stand a chance against me. Look, I'm trying to finish up my conduit control list here, but the bots they're sending down the line are trash. Get those workers to send me something. Good. Tell them to throw themselves on the line if necessary. And please, have a decent bet by the time you're done. Fine. Right, let's go talk to, uh, what was his name? Magnificus, the magician, or the wizard. The note reads, Greetings. If you are reading this, it must be because you wish to challenge me, Magnificus, to a card battle. But in order to earn that privilege, you must first defeat my three graduate students. Oh god. As for their whereabouts, that is for you to discover. Sincerely, Magnificus. Okay, I'm down. So I guess if we if we just beat like the minions, we'll... It'll help bu help build up our deck quite a bit because Grimora was a challenge. I'm guessing that Leshy was a bit of a gimme. Or maybe I just got lucky with my draw. But, um, oh yeah, no, 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 I didn't, didn't put this exploding bot in. That's a pretty good card though. So uh, let's get rid of it. It's a... Costs two. Go ship's really good. Yeah, Drown Soul's good because it's a one hit card. Yeah, decent. Yeah, decent. Let's just get rid of the Null Conduit. Um, for the time being. Um, yeah, I picked up an elk, but... Okay, we'll rock it this way for a bit. It seems to synergize quite well where where um, a lot of our cheap cards end up getting sacrificed. That allows us to use, because they generate bones for us. Um, Ghost Ship is really useful. We've got a, 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 few, a handful of sacrifice cards so that we don't get dealt them too frequently. Um, Mantis God can do good damage. Mallman's good defensively. Raven can be useful to finish things off. Exploding Bot can be extremely useful uh, against other strong cards, right? Awesome. So, yeah, maybe this... Uh, I'm just going to have to get in tune with the deck here. It's, it's weird being able to actually pick my deck now do you know what i mean it's uh, whereas I've, we've been so i've been so used to just making the best of what i've got in my hand so we'll try and move through the magician stuff next i think i'll try and say pog for the maybe that just it's just the starter deck maybe we're not really playing as pog i was probably wrong about that anyway we'll leave it there guys hope you enjoyed this one it's a lot of fun Leave me a like if you did enjoy it. And just remember, everyone, never trust an on-crate. I'll see you next time.